بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said عن أبي هريرة رضي رضي الله تعالى عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول قال الله تعالى أنا أغنى شركائي عن الشرك من عمل عملا أشرك فيه معي غيري تركته وشركه رواه مسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that Allah سبحانه وتعالى said I am the most free from having partners associated with me in shirk. Whoever does an action and commits shirk in it with me, I've left him and I've left his shirk. And this is collected in Muslim. In this hadith, Hadith of Qudsi, which is a hadith in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and although all hadith are wahi but it is where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reported directly on Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala where he informed us of the statement of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and in this hadith Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala distanced himself from shirk from sharing in any having any partners in his rulership in his lordship and that he alone should be worshipped and that all amal all deeds should be done for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we mentioned countless times of the conditions for having our deeds accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our worship and the first being that you have sincerity to Allah ikhlas and the second being that it follows the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this hadith authenticates for us and affirms for us the importance of worshipping Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala alone and avoiding shirk at all costs and that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala frees himself to Barak Wa Ta'ala from shirk. And Allah does not forgive shirk if a person dies upon the major shirk and even some of the ulama say even the minor shirk. But without doubt the major shirk will cause a person, if they die upon that without making repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be in the hellfire forever. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitab al kareem inna allaha la yaghfiru an yushrika bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna thalik liman yasha. That verily Allah does not forgive that you associate partners with him, but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases. So, we have to affirm our sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that which we do regardless of whether it be salat, zakat, fasting, hajj, charity, da'wah, propagating Islam whatever it may be, seeking the knowledge, seeking knowledge of Islam all of those things require sincerity and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas with the bat, firmness on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and protect us from being upon shirk in its very various forms and manifestations. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.